What's up guys, PD here back with another video and I have a lot to talk about. Uh, I did post my 500 subscriber face cam and that's not the only face cam that's going to be posted. Actually, I'm going to record a lot more and I already have like 3 or 4 more recorded. So yeah, those are going to be awesome. So make sure you check that out if you haven't already. But I have a lot to talk about because uh, in that video I couldn't really talk about things because... Uh, first of all, a lot of things didn't come to my mind. I actually recorded it on Friday, and the video ended up being like over 10 minutes. So if it did like have me talking about stuff in it, and I didn't even hit 500 subscribers yet, but if it did have me talking about stuff, then it would go way over 10 minutes and probably have to be split into two parts. So yeah, that's basically why. So there's huge announcements in this video. So let's get right into this. So over the weekend, you guys did know that RTG dropped out of road to the finals. And that's really unfortunate. Uh, if you guys don't know who RTG is, uh, they're Dope Swag. If you know who he is, you probably do. Uh, he, that's his kind of clan or his team. Yeah, he had a Pro-Am team and rode to the finals. And we all knew he was going to win. But unfortunately, a bunch of stuff happened in within his like clan. And a lot of people were just, I don't know, acting really stupid, I guess. Because, like, uh, you guys have probably heard about this. They gave up $250,000. Each person could have got $50,000. But long story short, it all happened because somebody was complaining about not getting the ball. Like, are you kidding me? But anyway, I got mad respect for Dose Clag. And actually, as I'm talking right now, he just uploaded a video called Thank You. But yeah, the way he just handled everything, the way he was just go out, like, being able to go out there and just say, oh yeah, uh, we just can't like complete and wrote to the finals they just he had to say it he just he had the balls to say that so uh mad respect for him and also like he's been grinding too so anyway that got me thinking there's been a lot of clans that just have beef and stuff like that but i have no idea like, like people are just so immature in this community this community is just it can be really bad at times so we're all like that's my youtube channel just everybody i play with we're all a family like i have never had any beef or anything like that and i'm not gonna let anything like that happen because it's just so unnecessary and just people that just start stuff like that like if somebody can start something as big as not going for two hundred fifty thousand dollars just by complaining by not getting the ball like that's just ridiculous and like those kind of things happen within this community and especially within clans so also when i was naming the clan or trying to come up with a name i wanted something with elite in it and that's just because everything we do whether it's elite gameplay elite content just elite players everything you just got to be top notch just, just work hard just grind also you guys had so many great comments on my face cam video and it really makes my hard work pay off because face cam videos take so long to record and edit because uh, the way with my editing software works, you have to keep exporting it like multiple times. Mainly because there's so many layers to it. So it can take like five times as long to edit. But you guys really seem to like it. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Shout out to all my day ones. DJ Farico, King Malco, Michael Forrest, King Yanni, Rube Rocket. All you guys, thank you guys so much. And we're only getting bigger. This is just the beginning, guys. So yeah, I just want to give a huge shout out. Everybody that's watching all my videos, all my day ones, everybody that's been here from the beginning, just thank you guys so much. And we really truly are a family. So we got the clan name, The Family Elite. That's about to be hype. Also, okay, this weekend I was working so hard. I made a logo for it. I did everything. I was honestly overthinking everything. Like, look, I even made Pro-Am jerseys. Like, look at these boys. I know it really wasn't necessary. It's not, we're not like a pro-am team. I just thought I'd just make this. So we got the logo on the top. And we can see the full written out logo on the back of the shorts. So uh, these are just the home jerseys. I also made away jerseys with the white version of the logo. I don't know. I kind of went out of hand. Like, this really wasn't necessary. But I just thought this would be really dope. And yeah, I did make logos. I don't know. I just thought this was really cool. And of course, I had to make an arena. So this stuff is looking dope. I don't know. I kind of went out of hand. It was kind of unnecessary since, like, this clan is isn't just totally big yet but i can't wait to see where this thing goes and if you think about it i'm not over having this too much because from 200 subscribers this clan was unnamed so i thought since we're a family on youtube since we got elite players elite content stuff like that it just called the family elite so yeah this is about to be dope but moving on i gotta ask you guys something so i have not streamed in i think three weeks so that's not normal for me i used to stream every single friday sometimes saturdays and sundays uh as soon as i hit legend i don't know that's when 2k was really fun for me but to be honest the people i used to stream and play 2k with they don't play 2k anymore like barely any anymore so uh, that's just for regardless reasons 
But the question is, do you guys still want me to stream and play with followers on Fridays? And, like, probably stream on Saturdays and Sundays because, uh, like, I don't know. It's probably going to be 2K, but if it's another game, do you guys still want me to stream? And because most of the time, people just won't be on or just playing 2K. And I just will kind of feel bad. Like, should I still stream, like, whatever I'm playing, like, Call of Duty, GTA? Most of the time, GTA, like, should I still stream it? So, I don't know. It's really up to you guys. The last time I did that, the stream didn't do too well. So, I don't really know. Just, uh, I might try it once, but leave it in the comment section below if you still want me to stream, even though it might not be always 2K, especially on Father Fridays, because I know a lot of my followers on Twitch just have different games, so I can play with them on whatever game I'm playing, whether it's GTA, or, again, Call of Duty, anything I'm playing, I can really play with them, so that's always gonna be awesome, so I'm probably gonna try this a couple times, just see how it goes, and if it goes well, I'll continue to do that every Friday, and probably sometimes on the weekends, too. I don't think I said this earlier, but sorry if I sound a little bit weird. I did just wake up from a nap. I was hella tired. But yeah, I really want to start playing with more subscribers, but that's kind of why I started the clan. But also, uh, some of you guys don't understand. I don't play 2K for fun that much anymore, which is really kind of sad. I used to love playing this game. I used to play for fun all the time. But if you do follow me on Xbox and you see me on, it's usually just I'm on Black Ops 2 or just the original Black Ops just messing around. Or, I don't know, I'm usually just not on 2K, and if I am on 2K, I'm usually just recording something for a video like you saw with the jerseys in the arena. And that's part of the reason why I show all this old footage, because the rate I'm posting park videos, or just any videos, compared to the rate I'm playing them, if I didn't post old footage, they would run out so quickly. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.